Like we were in fucking. I'm gonna keep calling it. I'm gonna keep bringing this back to 2008. Keep bringing it back to 2012 blog era. We know exactly what was coming out. We had Kendrick. We had Drake. We had Wale. K. Cuddy. Big Sean. The backpack rap era. Drake. Bro, we had. And guess what? They stayed forever. Throw that ass. You know you a hoe. Up and down. That booty gonna go. Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's happening? It's the Geeked Up Crew. Two live or three live crew. Three for me, three for you. You know what I mean? What's going on? What's happening? Um, I am one third of your host, Swaggy Q, aka Southgate in the building. Um, one of my co hosts. Smell something from the kitchen. I think that's the chef. What it do, man? Hey man, you know, you know, I'm still smelling the the glizzies and and all the the team camaraderie and sweatiness from being at the Commander Stadium on Sunday, man. You know what I'm saying? Left hand up. You already know what it is. We the Commanders, and we got that dub. We want to know we undefeated, and we about to go 20 and 0 to win the Super Bowl. I said it here live at on 9:13 at 7:29 p.m. You already know what it is, baby. What's up? Mm. Yeah, that was a hot take. Hot, hot take that. Not too hot, We'll baby. circle back in like another 17 weeks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, my other co-host, it's not your dad, it's not your nephew, it's not the nigga down the block. Who is it, man? What up, it's your boy, Roy? That's what's up. Crazy what's up. get that shit off, you know, that cowboy shit behind you. Wow. I'm not, you know, I, once again, look, first of all, after that, you know, I'm still full off that 40 burger. I don't know about y'all, man. My bro, boy is at an excellent. on that jersey right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm resting on it. I'm relying on it. that jersey right now, bro. I, it'd be under my ass. No, it'd be, that's what the commander shit's for. You know, I, I sit on that and shit on that, but this one, I rely. This has my back, as you see, you know what I mean? You see how I did that? I catch up the crop dust as the fart rolls up. <laughs> <laughs> first things first man um how y'all doing man um y'all gentlemen's about to catch a flight recently how y'all feeling are you prepped up actually that brings up to a good quick topic i mean when do you guys initially pack for a flight or a fort trip the day of day before or you guys oh, it's, it's day before or the day hours of. before <laughs> 100%. typically you gotta go to the store you gotta grab some other shit you know what i'm saying i've been thinking about that i'm like oh, should i get Another shirt, a couple shirts. Uh, should I get some new drip saying? for Texas? I, I Honestly, like that. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, so you guys pack under Paul's, then over? No. Nah, oh, for this over. trip, you know, it's funny. For this trip, I packed under because I'm flying Spirit. And, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the, flight, the flight was so fucking cheap. But, like, they, they get you with, like, trying to pick your seats or, you know what I'm saying, bringing on luggage. So I could bring a personal bag on. So for this trip, son, like, I'm like, dumb light like i tried to pick everything with the shoes that i'm gonna be wearing there like you know what i'm saying i'm gonna bring a pair of slides and i know it's about to be hot as fuck out there so you know what i'm saying it's real easy to roll up the hoochie daddy shorts compared to mm. jeans like this crazy ass motherfucker roy is about to wear out yeah, there yeah, i yeah, better not see a photo of anybody wearing jeans down there nigga, you know fire your ass, cook he can't your stand ass. nothing because he didn't this nigga didn't have no shorts when he went a couple years ago you nigga what are you talking about hey yo hey look this is not the time to bring we're not talking about old fights we're talking about now <laughs> yo y'all will find time. some way to shoot back I don't Besides, know. Why. I'm gonna have holes in my pants, you know. I know mm. people don't rock holes as much in their pants, but let that breeze come through. Going. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My knees will be comfortable. Nigga, that air draw. dry as shit. That ain't no <laughs> breeze, nigga. Oh, fuck, I'm not ready for that shit. I ain't never been that far down south before. Yeah, bro. You'll be ready to eat this. It's just yeah. it's just Austin, you know. It's just Austin. I'm not gonna lie. They out there and they thick. That's all I will say. They thick mm. out there. Mm. Um, mm. Speaking of not being ready, um, just real quick, you know, I know we got a docket ready. You know me, freestyle king. Uh, y'all niggas think y'all can take that alien? <laughs> that supposed alien from Mexico? Mm. The, y'all think y'all got the, it? Y'all can body him? I mean, it looks fairly similar to E.T. I think I can body E.T. Oh, so. <laughs> I don't know, son. That joint might <laughs> absorb Swift punches. Kick to the forehead, bro. That's all you need. I don't know. That might that joint might absorb punches and just flick you on your forehead and send you like eight miles away. Mm-hmm. He's right. His body is mummified. You know. Paul, the fact that the head's still intact, bro. That means that's a lot of just nutrient. Like there, there was something in that bitch, bro. 
nigga telepath and all types of shit, man. Yeah, better be careful. Don't don't don't, don't talk down on these guys. Man, that shit would be like a badass Power Ranger villain. Like I've been studying you for centuries, and like fucking catch your fucking leg kick or some shit on like some weird anime shit, and just fuck your ass up. <laughs> that shit would be so funny, bro. Oh my god! Hold on the go, oh. bro. Oh shit! Oh shit! Um, hey, well, you know me, Freestyle King. Speaking of wild aliens, um, let's talk about what's going on over there in Poland. <laughs> um, no, we're not talking about that hit, you know, Yachty put on us last year, you know, took that walk to Poland, you know what I mean? Apparently, um, you know, they got a, they, uh, now what, if I'm butchering this, I'm sorry, but there is a holiday over there where they initially they do do blackface, correct? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> So this is well, the normality overseas, correct? Well, I mean, first off, I did see on Twitter niggas didn't want to be like, hey, bro, just so y'all know, it's blackface in y'all country. It's not blackface to us. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Like, there's a lot of racial context over here, you know what I'm saying, in terms of blackface, you know, menstrual shows, all that. But overseas, I think they're missing a little bit of that. So it's just like, we're just, it's just cosplay. Oh, this is just everyday life, you know? It's, just, it's Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. Uh, um, so uh, there was a, I believe it was a uh, Poland Scott Talent, if you will, or some crazy <laughs> nutty-ass show. I don't even <laughs> want to acknowledge it like that. But now nah, they had um, they had a, a blackface Drake. And um, I mean. <laughs> a blackface which, Drake. Yeah, which already threw me off because, you know, the nigga's light skinned. So them going out their way to make the nigga black lets me know what type of time they're on over there. Let's let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Y'all saw the video. How y'all feel about it? I mean, I, know, I mean, Drake, face, did, Drake. Drake did blackface. So maybe they're like, <laughs> Yo, oh, 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 shit. Subliminal oh, dead. shit. Too subliminal, nigga. We talking about. Oh, three. yo. The spot up three, nigga? God damn. <laughs> All right, I so right. fuck it. You got the rock. Um, nah. Um, that, I mean that is fair. Um, we saw the Drake one. We saw the Kendrick one too. Um, I hate to even admit it, but that niggas braids looked official. I I don't even know how they did that over there. <laughs> son, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how they did that. K braids on that man, son. Like them Drake <laughs> straight up. Had official, bro. I was like, because I was looking at the picture. I was like, hold on, son. Like the braids actually don't even look that bad. So I'm like, nah. Maybe this takes hours and hours of like makeup and shit like that. I don't. I thought the niggas were Dominicans. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Hey, Dominican, no black man. You know what they say, man. They say they ain't no black. Right. Another pie for another day. We'll dissect that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, man. Uh, I mean, how y'all feel about Poland? I mean, are they pieces of shit for this shit? Should we just chalk this up to just hey, that's their culture? Or I mean, do they need a hey, let's get woke moment over there? I mean. I mean Go ahead, everybody. I'm assuming <laughs> the thing is, like I said, right? You're missing racial content. How to answer this? <laughs> and then, right? It was like, ah, ah hmm. Because <laughs> uh, 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 when I first saw it, I was like, yo, ain't no way, bro. This is, they're just, there's no way y'all thought this was cool. At 2023. But in 2023. But then I saw the next picture and I saw. Like Ed Sheeran dapping this nigga up while he's performing and shit. Oh shit, you do Ed in this mix? Oh shit, this oh, pop's going off today. This pop's going <laughs> off. All right. Oh, like, well, if Ed is cool with it, I mean, right? Like, if Ed is cool, you know, he raps, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of black friends, you know? You took, you took, we, he boxed that one time, you know? Like, it's nigga. <laughs> you go, Fine. yeah, you just. He threw her head down straight bullet. I'm still on that. I said, damn. <laughs> oh shit. Um, Chef, how you feel about that joint, man? Um, I don't I mean, I don't think it's necessarily their culture, but you know what I'm saying, like Roy was kinda hinting at earlier, like maybe they don't have those same racism norms that we have to deal with over here in this fucking crazy ass country called America. You know what I'm saying? Like, um so you know what I'm saying, maybe stuff like that can be viewed as and gets a whole bunch of views and stuff like that and and brings ratings and brings out more shows like from the videos that we were watching in the meeting i mean it looks very choreographed like you All know right, what i'm yo, saying like like i'm not even gonna cap bro like like they got the cadences down like they got the fucking 
you know what I'm saying, when artists be chopping it up in midair or whatever, you know what I'm saying, with their hands, doing a hand chop, like, bro, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty crazy, bro. It, it, it's, it's actually insane. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> like, the no, Dr. I Umar want to be like, fuck this. And then I'm like, also, like, this is actually kind of entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's pretty good. I mean, it's for charity, you know, so, you know, charity, but. Oh, so that's what makes um, it better. Yeah, of course, you know, charity and everything's cool, but um, I didn't say they don't, they like niggas now. I didn't say that, though, you know. So. Mm. All right, there you <laughs> go. Say, I didn't say all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, bro, people don't like dark-skinned people anywhere in the world, like you. So I'm assuming Poland probably got that shit, too, you know what I'm saying? But maybe it's just this exact context. They don't, you know what I'm saying? I've never heard a nigga mention... Shows. I've never yeah. heard a nigga mention Poland ever until Yachty did. Yeah, uh, and they love yeah. that nigga for that. He got the key to Poland. What? Oh yeah, we pot, we I think we pot about that. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I don't know. Memory's a little hey, just woke up from a nap. Excuse me. Um, nah, yeah. Um, I guess fuck y'all, Poland. I guess is that where we're at. <laughs> nah, I think we're like confused still, and like I said, we're just gonna wait for Ed to tell Hold us. On, exactly isn't, how to feel. isn't Hitler from Poland? Oh shit. All right. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. All right. Speaking of crazy things going on in music. <laughs> um, Let's get to it, man. Um, The man's had a pretty rough 2023. I mean, hell, let's go back to 2022. Had a rough year. Uh, got locked up with the Rico. Um, the complete deal. They called him a rap. Called him snitch. Tarnished him. People threw cheese at his fucking car. It was crazy. It was nuts. It was like, yo, can he can he come can he come back? Can he bounce back? Lo and behold, the man Gunner sold out of arena. Let it be known. Hey man. Um, salute. Album's still good. Album's still on repeat in my opinion. Um I mean, and also I believe during this show, was it this show the one initially we gave a shout out to uh Young Thug yeah. too? Free yeah. Free Jeffrey. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Does he have the right to do that or still promote that by any chance? That's a good question. I it's, mean, freedom of speech. To me, can... is feeling. I mean, freedom of speech, obviously. But, <laughs> but we know how. Like, come on, you know, our culture. <laughs> you know, no, no, I ain't gonna talk about <laughs> free and Jeffrey. You put him in there. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. You knew the rebuttal. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that, but like you said, like, it's it's crazy to see this man's, well, I don't want to say it's crazy, right? Because, yes, he was locked up. Yes, he was facing Rico. He got out, the snitching thing. But we had already seen from the whole 6 9 thing that, like, you can con- somewhat come back to the game. Hmm. Um, and we all knew, like, as soon as Gun even got him up, everybody was like, well, hold up. Gun is actually, like, really good. And he's, like, kind of, like, right. literally... Like in his prime, star is rising. Like, are that's we really fact. gonna are we really gonna put Gunner to the shelf? And it's like, all right, well, let's see what he comes back out with. He fucking delivered. You know what I'm saying? If he didn't deliver and he come back with a six pack, I don't think this happens. But he did. I, I and mean. like, <laughs> and it seems like at the show, like, you know, it's you know, what I'm saying he was at Barclays on on Saturday after a two year hiatus from from not being there. So to so to sell out Barclays, I mean, seems to be pretty fucking dope mm-hmm. as well. And he did like a mixture of like all his songs. You know, what I'm saying like, of course, he promoted a gift and a curse, but you know, what I'm saying he did like Drip or Drown or you know, what I'm saying a few of the other albums that he's dropped in like recent years. So you know, what I'm saying when you're in that setting, like it's so easy to forget. Like, you know what I'm saying? All right, like, he snitched, but he ain't snitching on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And also, like, why are you oh, buying shit. tickets to go out there and, like, promote or, like, bash this dude to be like, oh, you fucking snitch or some shit like that? Like, you look like a bozo doing that. So, I mean, like, yeah. I think in that essence, like, it's real. Like, I, like I'm like i happy for him, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, like that, that's real cool. And, like, kind of like Roy was saying, like, he was initially, like, if we're going to talk about it, like, about to be in his prime. Like, we're we're talking about a guy, like, who was nominated for album of the year or in certain people's opinions were now album uh nominated for album of the year with like one of and, and you know what i'm saying albums like that so i mean it, it's it's cool you know what i'm saying i don't i don't know if it would necessarily work for for everyone else you know what i'm saying like with like you know with with six nine and everything like that um 
I think he did have like a billboard hit or like it was it was close or like a very high Ooh, six nine like you, six yeah nine, like a very high like a YouTube hit he had or something. That, that Nikki joint, um, yeah, which initially yeah. he was it the Nikki joint. It was the joint when he came out and he had the rat face. And, I think it was a Nikki. And, I think it was a Nikki joint. Was mm, that the Nikki joint he had the rat face? No, but I think it was like two separate joints. Um, I forgot what it was. Regardless, he, I, regardless. He, nah, he smoked that joint because he had the little rat face emoji joint. He's like, ah ha! Like I was like, oh shit! He, I didn't mind you. Hey, now you know, um, you know, I, I'm not a, you know, I do not support uh, six nine anything that he stands for. Uh, I'm good on him, but, but that song was he. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but that's what you get with like with the trolling shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you see what can eventually happen. Like you know what I'm saying? If you can't survive what happens what comes after like you know what i'm saying you want to troll after your situation i don't think gunna was necessarily doing that you know what i'm saying like i don't think he was necessarily in the media as much he was like you know what i'm saying i'm gonna come out with this album and still show y'all that i can still make great music and you know what i'm saying he's like and and to go with this like not to drift off too much but like rush just came out with with some shit and he's talking about you know what i'm saying how they're faking streams and everything like that and how it's so weird how these artists that have millions of monthly listeners cannot or are canceling tour dates bruh mm-hmm. and you gotta do quote unquote snitch gonna out here selling out shit yeah you know what i'm saying like i don't know bro like it, it's just Facts. it's something bigger in this picture bro you know bro, like it's um, brody's bigger. always had talent yeah hmm? brody's always had brody's always had talent um yeah you know what I mean? He's um, he really took the time to your point, just like you said. Um, instead of the six nine coming out trolling and just you know, well, Gunn has never really been you know on that type of time anyway. He's always been really secluded, you know, really uh, no pun intended, uh, studio rap. Um, so yeah. he literally just went right back to what he knows, and you know, definitely saluted nigga that you know produced that type of quality of music. Which I hate to be that guy. He pulled a J Cole, no features. No features on that joint, and that joint is still hot. And I hate to even say this or even put these words out there, but arguably, a lot of people were putting that over the thug joint, which no, that's crazy enough to say. Joint, bro, it was clearly over the thug joint. I now, think you can thug say was in that. jail. The yes, songs are not like, do I think, like, like, how much <laughs> replay value did that Young Thug album, like, it did really have if we're being bro, honest? Like, they were saying, Fuck You Mean had more streams than the entire project. Bro, Fuck You Mean is on everything. Lot. Like, like, every no, like, it, it, like <laughs> it was literally the song itself, just the one song was doing better than the whole project. And like I said, it's not a young thug over gonna thing. It's just you're in jail, you have unfinished music, and you try to put that out and try to make sure you can um I mean, I wouldn't say talk about the I mean, situation your, or call, call me or out on the project, you know what I'm saying? Diss me on the project, but it just didn't it didn't work. And that's okay. And guess what? You're gonna still go do his old shit, do his whole run, and then say free Jeffrey at his biggest. Is that the only thing that deterred that whole or uh, Thug's album from being, you know, seen in that view and light? Because I've heard, you know, you know, heard they mentioned that on the Joe Button podcast, and I was just like, I think that's a slight. I don't want to just put that strictly on just the fact that he's inside right now, and that deters everything, you know? Because I mean, a music video did come out recently for uh one of the songs um the one with him and drake um i want to say god um i mean to like it's, it was like... Hella, hella promotion that was going to this like you know literally within 24 hours to 12 hours before this was dropping from drake to um little baby the other future uh well, not future but i think actually future too but a couple of artists had literally posted a link to the um the album when it dropped the countdown and everything like that so like can we just put that on just Thug being locked up? That album just didn't do that well. Or I, I think some that it has a, I thought it did. I think that it has a a big thing to do with it. Like these are promotions that, at the end of the day, like we could think these promotions are free, but as we've stated before, like this is some you scratch my back, I scratch yours type of shit. Like what can you do for me if I'm gonna go ahead and promote your album and you're in jail and you can't do this yourself? Like you can't. Like they're not gonna give you hours to leave jail. You know what I'm saying? To go promote your album down the street or to go do a, a tour to promote your album to leave jail or something like that. Like, no, like, that's going to hurt you, bro. Like, initially, your fans are probably going to listen to it because, you know what I'm saying? I guess everyone has ride or die fans. But, 
you know what I'm saying? People are going to want to hear what, what Ghana has to say more. And in, in, in my opinion, like we don't know when this music was recorded, when it was a lot of stuff. Like, you know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I think it definitely hurt, hurt Thug in my opinion. Salute Thug. Um, free Thug. Um, actually one of the co-defendants, I believe just got 30, I believe, to life or something, shit like that. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not surprised. And somebody just yeah. got, well, let's, let's just move on. Let's, let's yeah, no, we don't got to go into that one. Um, just, yeah, definitely free Thug. Um, hey, uh, speaking of Thug, um, you know, real quick before we get to our, you know, our tangent, um, or I'm about to lead us into one. Allegedly, everybody keeps saying this young lady looks like her. Um, shout out Sexy Red. Uh, she went to her first football game with the New Jersey Jets. Um, she was on the sideline. If you New don't Jersey. know, um, yeah, there always be New Jersey. I, I'm not gonna say New York. It's New Jersey. <laughs> oh, fuck uh, New York. <laughs> um, she was uh, on the sidelines. Um, if you don't know, I believe it was episode four of the Hard Knock series. Um, you know, you can see a good amount of you know the niggas out there. Ski, you know, they asses off and shit like that. And it's <laughs> it's nice and refreshing to see, you know, that they took the time out to appreciate her and have her on the sideline of that game. Um, yeah, I saw so. somebody tweet about uh sexy red. They're like, yo, why is everybody walking up there like she got some crazy aura or some shit? Like <laughs> So it's just like they are pushing her out so fucking much. Like every is they throw are, are, is an update on her life, bro. I'm like, so I don't they, have none of her music downloaded or anything, but I'm still being pushed. All her content, like it's so fucking annoying. Are they pushing or is she working hard? No, son, they're obviously pushing that shit. Like, it's if we're gonna talk about though. ads, you sure like, about you know that? when you search something, mm-hmm. you know when they when you search something and then the ads start popping up on your apps and everything like that. Like, son, mm-hmm. I ain't never searched sexy red, but that shit is on like every blog, every this, every that, like every two seconds. She's working hard, maybe, bro. Maybe she is working hard, but there there is it's something like me. being pushed. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, man. That shit, that shit mad annoying to me. Like, it's just like, oh, this nigga. why the fuck this shit gotta look so fucking... You was with Pound Town. Stop that. I'm not... I'm I was, about to call bro, you but out. at a certain point, bro, at a certain <laughs> point, bro, this shit is getting tiring, bro. This shit is getting so tiring. I mean, to me, bro. This shit, this shit I'm is not getting bad. tiring. But, like, I'm, I'm happy for her, though, but why the fuck is she on Hard Knocks? <laughs> like, um, one of the rappers been on Hard Knocks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Like, come on, like, like, why is she just forced on everything? We got to, like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Well, actually, ooh, ooh, actually, I'm sorry, before the fans, because somebody might be out there listening, they're going to kill us. Remember, Eminem was on the Detroit one. True. Eminem was a Detroit mm-hmm. one, so I got to fight that I mean, one. She was, it was just her That's song, Eminem, right? Man. Um, yeah, it was just, but no, the, the, I'm not going to lie. I did see the clip of her on the sideline of the uh, Jets game. I was like, oh, shit. Wow. Like, yeah, they they holding her wad of cash, man. You know, yeah. you know what you're doing, man. She, now, now, like I said, in defense, dog, to your point, I'm going to argue that she's working because, I mean, whether it be the freestyles to the interviews to just even the pop ups here and there. This woman works hard. Like she, I, I hate to be cliche. She is the beginning startup of. I don't even want to just categorize categorize it just for the women, but I mean we've seen a lot of women artists where it's just like, yo, hey, you're like, because to your point, yeah, I can see where you'd be like, all right, this is getting a little annoying, but it's just like, yo, she's got that drive. She's like, you know, shout out I just to her and how they trying to uh, make it seem, bro. Like definitely shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? She's she's definitely put in the work, but it's like, come on, bro. Like, like everything, like, it's just like, all right, man. And it's just looking like this, the same fucking image where it's just like, ah, fucking ratchet. I'm all this. I'm fucking that and everything like that. Like, it's like, bro, like there's other artists out here, bro. That'd be doing mm. other shit. But you know what I'm saying? That that's what's, that's what's pushed. And we see it with other artists too. Like, I'm, I'm not really going to go on a tangent right now, but you know what I'm saying? It's cool. But she, you know what I'm saying? She definitely has an image that she has to keep up with. So, you know what I'm saying? But. You know, I'm, I'm glad. Like, I'm actually glad you said that. Uh, a woman keeping up her image. So um, that actually brings us to our next topic: um, Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion and their hit song "Bongo." Um, if you haven't heard it, it's a um, it's a slap. You know, I think more or less the music video and the ambiance is for men, but this song is solely, you know, it's, it's, this is this is WAP. Uh, 
Maybe no, it's not WAP. Like I said, I, I'm not gonna call it's it that. It's not. That. Yeah, it, it's not WAP, it's but it's that. like it's this WAP's like stepchild that like took it in. It's like, yo, hey, I'm gonna raise you, but like, yo, you're not mine type shit. You know what I mean? But <laughs> now, um, Nikki and uh, I mean Nikki, good guy, got him all over. Whew. Cardi and Meg linked up for bongos. Um, like I said, it's um, before we even dive out to who bashed this. How did y'all feel about this? Was this is this the right time for this to drop? Because to our next segment, I agree with what they said on that platform. This if this would have dropped in the summer, this would have been it. But how do you guys feel about it? I just want to throw that one out there. Before. Yeah, if it dropped in the summer, it would have. I still don't like the song, especially mm-hmm. compared to like Cardi's uh, features that she's been on recently. Smoking, like, smoking, like it's like niggas think oh, you must hate women rap. No, nigga, I. I like good music. And I don't like bongos. Rap. I'm like, I love no, her. Her and Offset. Whew. That joint still on. Yeah, yeah. Feet. Jealousy. Jealousy is mm-hmm. fire too. I gotta mm-hmm. remind myself to go back and listen to Jealousy. It's straight rapping. It's literally just bars. Right. It's like the whole Body. song. I mean, like, and the visual, of course. And the visual, know, of course, of course. Oh, but <laughs> anyway, so like, um, but in terms of the song, like, nah, I think it should have came out during its like the beginning of the summer, like we're, everybody's mm-hmm. saying. Um, it would be way more successful. Like, regardless, I don't think the, the song is going to be successful, but it's always the bar of success that you're, you know, you're going against. Like, people always think, well, this, you see how many streams they it got. It's like, all right, cool, but does it have staying power, right? Like, mm. like, like you it's said, getting cold out. Exactly, right? It's getting cold out. Like, you guys were dancing on the beach. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. Mm. Ain't got nothing to do with football season. Oh, shit. Like, oh, shit. Yo. Honestly, like, for real, like, I love Cardi B, and I and I love her features and everything like that. You know, so I love the Tomorrow 2 with fucking Glorilla, and I mean, like, almost everything she's fucking featured on. But for this one, bro, like, I honestly think Megan saved this song from this song being, like, completely fucking trash. Like, if, if, if this was just a Cardi song, I don't oh, think it really would have went take. that well. Oh. Like... I don't know, son. Like, I don't think it really would have went that well. Like, the cadence wasn't really working for me. Like, it seemed like she was trying to yell. And, like, the way she raps, like, wasn't fitting with that with that beat. Like, that bong, 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 bong. Like, that's not really, like, the type of beats, like, she raps on for me. Um, but I do think once Megan came on the song, like, she had, honestly, a way better flow on the, on the, on the track. You know what I'm saying? I think it does have potential. Um... Is it a come and go song potentially just due to the time that it that it came out? Um, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna probably hear it as much because we're not gonna be going out as much due to it being cold and stuff, but in our I mean, age demographic. The song. But I mean like just the essence of the song, you know what I'm saying? It just seems like a like a summer drop. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying, maybe due to her and the in the legal situations and everything like that, they were like, nah, you can't drop this until you know what I'm saying, the case mm-hmm. is settled. So That is true. That is true. Um, my one critique on this, I mean, see, Cardi's in that bag. I hate to even admit that, um, that six nine could be in where they and you know, Jay Balvin, you know, Bad Bunny, where y'all can do that Hispanic reggaeton type of you know, vibe and rap because that's what the the bongo joint kind of gave me. It gave me that reggaeton, yeah. like if she was on that joint rapping in Spanish, oh, oh out of there. I'm telling you right now, that'd have been out of there. That'd have been heat. Um, but uh, apparently, we're not the only ones that uh, that feel this way. Um, Joe Budden recently on his podcast uh, mentioned that um, this was this felt forced. Um, he, he said that um, you know it, it doesn't really know exactly who to point at per se, or not necessarily the ladies, but mainly the the machine behind the ladies. That this is probably one of those force fed type of ordeals, type of music that they're just like, hey, you know, take this hot, you know, heart rapper, this hot rapper, boom, put it together and then just try to make something that just wasn't to most people what they feel like and what, you know, what you gentlemen sound like. It's not genuine. Um, you know, um, I would like to hear more songs with them together because I don't think this is a WAP too but i do think they could have the potential to drop like a good song Uh, not even saying like this i don't think this song is bad i don't think it's cheeks um i think it's good for what it is like the video is great it's colorful like the dancing's fucking phenomenal plus Um, the ass right 
Oh yeah, of course. Gotta gotta love the booty. You gotta love the booty. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Um, I do want to potentially hear more songs with them together. Like even if they did like a EP with like three or four songs, five songs, six songs, or something like that. Like I think that could potentially go well for them too. Um, and do you think the duo body. reached? Do you do you think that they reached their peak with WAP together? Because um, I, I mean they came out the gate over. swinging just I'm due to say. like we we haven't seen something like that in a long excuse me for COVID? like a long time. Was that during what? COVID? What WAP? Uh, that might yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. Oh, uh, yeah. I, um, I'm so looking ain't no at way, it right now. Ain't no way you beat three years that. Ago. Yeah, if that shit came out during 2020, mm-hmm. ain't nothing mm-hmm. beat nothing that came out 2020 because that was the most eyeballs. Watching Currently, right shit. now, 511 mils, and that's on um, uh, 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 YouTube. Sorry. Yeah. So, so I doubt it. That's that's a tough titan to beat. Um, uh, do we want to get into Cardi's response to Joe? Yeah. Um. Yeah, so what Joe Budden first, you know, said, gave his opinion on bongos, said how much, um, like you said, it wasn't necessarily trash. Like you said, it's more so the the machine behind him wasn't, I don't know, didn't do his job on this one. Um, Didn't have their best interests. Yeah, didn't have their best interests. Um, You know, like, and like what Spicer was saying, like what they were saying on the pod, maybe it was not the right time, and maybe it's because of the whole legal situation with Meg and all that. But, Cardi still took exception to this, to what Joe said. And it, not just her, it was, mind you, this is the whole shade room was, you know, tight as shit about what Joe said because, you know, they're only taking a passage of what he said, not the entire thing. Because mm-hmm. first thing anybody's going to say before they say anything is say, mind you, I really like Cardi. I really fuck with Cardi. Skip over all of that. Instead, we just go into, you don't think women can make music and all this other stuff. And um, yeah, Cardi. She was responded, but it didn't seem like she was responding necessarily to him talking about the song, surprisingly. Hmm. It sounded like she was actually saying Attacking Joe. Attacking Joe because he recently interviewed Tasha K and she knows that's gonna come out. Which is an entirely different thing. And she goes on to say that this is um I saw the way that you respond to Rory and Maul when they go in and talk shit about you and Tony hmm. Stone. So you should understand mm. how I feel about Tasha K and mm. you know, she didn't just talk shit about me, you know what I'm saying? She was saying all these lies against me in terms of like, you know, she's the one that brought up the whole uh drugging people story that believe me, that's when it's rounds. I see that joint on Reddit all the time. Um, the um, cheating allegations, cheating putting allegations. up all that phone number out there and shit. Yeah. Like she like, wild out. Wild out, bro. And it's like mad shit that like you know, it's past we I ain't fucking with you. It's past that. That's why Cardi sued the shit out of her, right? Sued her for four mil and got you know, that. Tasha K had still to get waiting up on the bag. The, still waiting on the bag. Tasha K had to get about the country. It was so bad. <laughs> um, she's still in Africa? I don't know where she at. But so yeah, so like Cardi I, I understand Cardi's response, but I I could have swore her and Joe were cool. I guess we're not cool. I don't really. That was the one thing that was throwing me off because he's he's always expressed about. And then see that's the thing, and you know especially the media media mogul that he's becoming, and you know especially the you know connections that he does have. It's like yeah, bro. Like you should know your response is probably if it's like even face value, you should probably just throw the positive five on there because anything you know other than that they're going to call you out for it are they going to chop it up and they're just going to dissect it and feed it to whoever you are addressing to at that moment in time and you know like i said it's it's but i'm not gonna lie to your point though and i thought that was pretty funny too or just weird why would he do an interview with tasha if him and cardi are tight in that type of manner that is very op like I was thinking the same because at first I was like clearly on Joe's side, and I was like, you know, Cardi kind of has a point. So I was like, wait, is he really doing this interview? Has he already done this interview? I looked it up. Apparently, if you look on Reddit, they said um, Tasha K put out a clip about uh, the beginning of well, beginning of the month, basically explaining like, yeah, the first thing I did is I had to go off on everybody on Joe's set, and at one point, Joe walked out of the interview, was outside, and he's jumping up and down. And he comes back inside and continues. And she's like, what the fuck is that about? And I was like, hmm. first comment on the Reddit post is, oh, that's because we got her. And I'm like, yeah. Like, I, doesn't mean this doesn't sound like 
oh, let's go talk about uh, how much uh, Cardi's been a strain on your life um, in the lawsuits, you know, wrecking your whole, you know, everything that's going on with your personal life. It sounds like you went in there to interrogate her ass. And mm. the problem is we don't know because it hasn't came out, but currently it looks like you just gave my biggest op a fucking platform to use. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, so they can pay off this debt. See. That's a fact. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's, that's that's for real. And I was wondering, yeah, what, what would it be a, a person? Would it be linked to a person's episode? I guess from Joe's joint. Um, I don't know about uh, you. You watching any of those? The uh, nah, nah, I haven't seen him. But I mean, Joe's a good interviewer. He's like legit a good interviewer. Like, like every time I watch an interview, I'm like, damn, I'm killing the shit right now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't seen it. But I'm assuming it's gonna be on Patreon if it ever comes out. It might not ever come out. It probably will not. Like I said, especially after the heat and a lot of um, you know, shots that's getting fired left and right. Um, I'm dying to you know how will he address this on the next pod. Usually he handles things pretty well whenever especially this is not the first time Cardi, you know, had to delegate some type of things that got back to her from, you know, what he said on his platform. Um, uh, if you know, you know. Uh, last thing that was stated from him that kind of led to some type of response from Cardi or whatever was just the um, Joe statement on uh, not getting any recent music from her. Yeah. Um, which, which was still like, I'm bigging you up in that same convo. I'm saying your life or just is I'm respecting so, what you got. I'm respecting that you're a fucking megastar. Like she is a, and a mom. She's, and a mom. She has one album, bro. One mm-hmm. album since, I don't even remember, what, 2019, 2018, whatever the fuck it was. Like the amount, you know how good you have to be at your job to have that much staying power off of one album and just one album. good ass, good ass but features, she, t- appearances, bomb like, features, social media, like mm-hmm. influence. Mm-hmm. I mean, to your to your point, I mean, as I was, you know, looking up her shit, you know, just going on, you know, YouTube and shit like that. That that joint, I like it. Now I like it. I like that dog. That's at one point five bill. Yeah, Billy. That's a tough ass song, bro. Even when that song Next still one. come on, I'm like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You get to you get to moving them hips and shit <laughs> like that. Like, I like it like that. <laughs> 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 and then the next one to that. You can want to do, I don't know the song, but Bodak Yellow. Yeah, one point one Billy. One point one Billy. With with she invested in herself for that joint. She put her own yeah. money into that shit. Yeah. One hit yeah. wonder. That's what we all thought, bro. Like that is a this fact. Is the, the girl from Love and Hip Hop. This is only this song. Isn't it crazy? Because the song will like barely hit the bar, bro. Like just hit the so bar. Her writer is just as rich as her, bro. Gotta be. Oh shit! Not just she wrote her, she wrote her, her own. Writer, yeah. She that money. <laughs> it's funny because uh, Joe Budden was like, they both need to go back to their old writer <laughs> or some shit. I was like, I'm actually, and then this nigga had me actually listening to the shit they were saying. I'm like, oh, nah, 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 chill, 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 chill. I'm not going to fall into that. I'm not going to fall into that. Well, you get I a actually party. don't know if they change writers. <laughs> I mean, the, the joke is because um, Meg was dating Partisan Fontaine, you know. Mm. Party's a big writer. Like, he writes for a lot of women. He's dating um who now? Jada Kingdom oh. now. So he's they're like, oh yeah, oh. He, he's different when you can write for women. <laughs> you know oh saying? shit, that's easy. Oh. That's yeah, so easy. Shout out to Definitely. Party for the bounce back. You know, no things are looking kind of rough out there, my man. But um, salute. Like I said, um, now let's 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 put this back on uh, uh female artists out here. Are they running the game right now? Like I said, we just named some big names right now that's currently you know rocking the waves or you know shaking the crowd up, if you will. You know, you got your sexy red, your Cardi, you got your Nikki, you got your Meg, you got your Winter, um, Suki right Lotto, now. Sukiana, Lotto, Lotto before Suki, Jesus Christ. Come Ice on. Spice. Hey, there's no order. I'm just throwing out praise where praise deserves. That's all I'm doing right now. Um, nah, I mean, Drew be told, and I hate to like age us out on this shit, but fuck, are we about to go there? We can honestly say that, you know, especially coming up in our era, we didn't really get this much women no. artists, like rappers, no. like rapper rappers. We got the women R&B, which, you know, Love near and dear, you know, Alicia Keys, you know, all the other. Are these rappers, rappers? 
Oh shit! Oh, you came to pod. Oh, is. is this really rap? Like I'm like I'm oh. be, like I'm being honest, bros, or, or is this just like the catchiest shit out right now? Like I I, I will say that like I don't I won't, I'm I won't out of town. Fully, I won't say hip hop is fully <laughs> embracing women. Um, I think they're kind of exploiting them and stuff right like that right now Ooh. because it's like the new fad for them to get streams and but you know what I'm saying like just like how it was for SoundCloud rappers and shit like that. And I was just like. What female artist can I sign that has some sex appeal and is going to say the most vulgar shit on the song? Like, that sexy Red and Sukiyana song, bro. Like, bro, that, shit is, that shit is pollution to my fucking ears, bro. Like, <laughs> and I actually like some of her songs, bro. But it's just like, she literally said a line where she's like, when I lost my virginity, I became a hoe. Like, and they're going to play that shit on the radio, bro. Like, and you're saying Do you not it, know some women who lost their virginity became a hoe? I mean that. I mean that's that's given. Man, on a song like, like that's just. It's She's just, speaking her truth, my brother. Bro. I, I guess so, man. I'm well, I mean, all right. So it's tough because like harass. I let them harass. Harass. Come on, y'all niggas playing, Joe. No, Stop it. these my thing. All right. So I see where we the go. spice was coming from. I I, agree, I like I agree with parts of what you're saying. Like, and I also agree with you saying, bro. The shit's the songs hit. You can't deny that a lot of these songs hit yeah. for sure. Um, are they saying vulgar ass shit? Yes, but Spice made a great point. It is like the next group of people to essentially be exploited. And I also know what you're talking about in terms of like, is this real rap or are they real rapper rappers? Because like, of course it's rap, of course it's hip hop, but like, the thing that different it's an era, right? Like. We were in fucking. I'm gonna keep calling it. I'm gonna keep bringing this back to 2008. Keep bringing you back to 2012 blog era. We know exactly what was coming out. We had Kendrick, we had Drake, we had Wale, K. Cuddy, Big the Sean, backpack rap era, Drake. bro. We had and guess what? They stayed forever. Throw that ass. You know you a hoe. Up and down that booty gonna go. Y'all niggas not hearing her, dog. Like I ain't got time for like, y'all with this shit. That's dog. like one of her. her... <laughs> That's some shit that could play on the radio. They won't mute that on the radio. They might if this is on the radio, I will be uh, now. Crazy that now, you gonna say, bro? It's if we're talking about shit. that, that's scary. I I, I don't want to okay. listen to you know ninety three point nine and hear this. I'm sorry. You will, but I think it's like we have heard some nasty ass shit on the radio. We grew up listening to nasty ass shit. The whisper Put song, nasty. putting it her mouth. Yeah, nah, like it it we like we and we were singing the songs as kids in the back seat. So blurring. My parents are like, well, fuck hey, it. Not, I mean, it's not, censored, right? Nigga, <laughs> 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 they but censored us. Now, like, any kid can sign up for fucking Spotify with a gift card, and they not about to get that edited version. No, nah, they, they not they, about to get that edited version, they, bro. And they're not going to be like us, and I hear the unedited version of the Whipster song until, like, 19. Like, wait, hold up. Like, hold on, nigga. I'm not going to lie. My work. My world was shooken up when I first heard my first like hip hop joint on edit. I was like, "What? <laughs> this is what they're saying?" Like, yeah, nah, I not know the vibe. Um, nah, man, these these ladies are taking over. You know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna be on my you know platform to salute them right now. Um, pussy rap and you got, drill. You said what? It's pussy rap or drill. That's, that's yeah. literally at name. this moment. Yeah, yeah, and Jersey Club music. I, sometimes when I get tired of hearing a nigga saying he gonna slide on the op, I want to hear a chick talk about sliding her box. Come on, man. Ah, look at that. You like that? Come on. That's off the dome, baby. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right uh, nah. Um, so initially, I mean, who out of the names we've mentioned or some of the ones that we haven't mentioned? Because um, even you know, let me just throw this one out there real quick. Salute to uh, Rhapsody. Um, yeah. Love her music. Love her work. Um, to Spice um, Point, this is initially one of the women that out there that don't get the recognition because she doesn't do, um, you know, the atypical, you know, pussy rap. You know, talking yeah. about all that wild shit. This and the third. Um, shout out No Name, like shout out No Name. Women. Just had an album recently. Yeah, there's other women rappers out here, but yeah, these are the ones that are getting attention. And back, I didn't even finish my point, but the whole thing is like. Like the thing we've been asking for, for Nikki for years, right? Like, are we gonna get a personal album for you from Sexy Red, talking about her Bruh. life, or are we just gonna get like the like, whole 10, album 12... gonna be that cadence? What? 
Like, <laughs> hell no, nigga. We probably hell won't no. ever. Ain't gonna drop no album. Cause ain't no fucking way. We probably ain't ever gonna get nothing like that. Or you know, maybe you can. You never know. These basically what we're saying is we don't know are these artists gonna evolve from the sound in the future. You know what I'm saying? When they get older, because right now it's cool, of course. But like in the future, are y'all gonna be able to like? You know what I'm saying? Talk about giving birth and having kids and shit like that. <laughs> you make it sound so boring. <laughs> well, yeah. it, now here's the thing. I'm not I mean, gonna people lie. Hate glow, glow, glow. People hate glow, glow. That's what happened to our, our uh, some of our favorite artists, Drake. You know, you know mm-hmm. Drake mentioned about his whole upbringing, being a father, eight times on this pod, bro. But, uh, and I will, and I, you definitely will. Every uh, example of everything that's ever happened, you know, happened happened to Drake, bro. For the dogs, God damn, it's coming out. It's coming out soon, uh, September twenty second. <laughs> September twenty second, we will be uh, reviewing that here. <laughs> um, nah, but you know, definitely Drake has his joint March, I think fourteenth. Um, the track, uh, Kendrick, uh, his whole, I mean, pretty much his whole album with um, uh, uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. That's him dissecting, you know, everything. You know, being a father, this and the third. So initially, yes, we would like to see, you know, progression and growth with our female artists that we're currently hearing right now. That yeah, I would love to hear, you know, seriously, you know, the mother talks, you know. Yeah. Why can't I we mean, get a female Brenda's got a baby? Hey. Like, that would hey. be dark. It's dark as shit. Deep as shit. <laughs> that could kind of work. I'm just but... saying. I'm just saying, like. If you're going to be staying around, I doubt you could be making hits for fucking 10 I years. got a baby. Like, just straight up Brenda's ratchet bangers for 10 years. Yeah, throw it on a Brenda's baby every now and again. No, nah, it's Marquisha got a baby. We already know. <laughs> oh, shout out to Tia Cor- uh Was it Tia Corre? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, Tia yeah. Corre is on a fucking freshman class. Like, no promotion. Like, I don't see anything for her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the anime, anime niggas love her. We know why she got that Kirby chain. Salute to her. You know she's part of our cult, our cloth. Um, yeah, she- that yeah, with with female artists. I mean, who are you guys rooting for? You know, female artist wise, right now, currently. Um, I think I'm still a big Lotto fan. I think. I mean, of the new generation, like Lotto's been killing it for a couple of years now, and then this last year she's been crazy ass run, just insane run, hmm. and she looked good. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Throw that in there last, of course. Uh, Chef, you? <laughs> well, you know, I still like Glorilla. You know what I'm saying? I still like her, her unisex rap, how she can switch unisex it up. Unisex rap, that. that's <laughs> funny as fuck. You stand fuck nigga free? <laughs> These are both bad. All right. <laughs> She's been a little quiet, too, lately. Oh. I know. I, I feel like uh, it sucks. You know what I'm saying? I think she was on tour. You know what I'm saying? I think she still is on tour, but yeah, man, she's got she's gotta drop that that next banger or drop something explicitly sexual. Or drop a nude. She said drop a nude. <laughs> all right, you know what? We're not doing that. Um Well, with all of these lovely ladies that we mentioned, um, the ironic part is that yesterday they are actually all uh under the same roof. Except for the, one. uh huh? Except for one. Except for one. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, the infamous VMAs uh, was yesterday. Um, to start off, uh, one of the um, you know the, the 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 ratchet symbol was up in the air, and I believe a young lady found it. Uh, she's catching, currently catching a lot of heat right now for her um, damn near busting it wide, you know, on the uh, black carpet. Uh, the, the Sukiana, you know, uh, a lot of. <laughs> Even one of our OGs, and I can say that because y'all grew up watching her too, just like I did, you know, especially with Flavor of Love. Delicious apparently came out. It was like, hey, girl, get up off the floor. Like, you know, that ain't it. <laughs> like, bro, she and went she... straight into, like, doggy style. <laughs> like, not even, like, that was some yoga. How many times you watched that clip? Uh, more than once. <laughs> <laughs> Had to make sure that the posture was right. Had to, you know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hands down. I'm right there with you. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, back. I know. Harass, we let him harass. It's funny as shit because, like, niggas, like, yo, that arch is so fire for your sex trade. Sex trade to be so trash. So that's not doing that. (laughs) Bro, 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 but this is like, and I want to, you know, my hands set hands up right now. You know what I'm saying? We not gonna. I don't want to say it's okay for you know 
women to get harassed and all that shit. But as a woman that could continually get sexually harassed, as Sukiana does, you know, I thought, especially at the last one, I thought she was going to tone it down. It's a little eensy bit. It's a tiny bit, but it's all about going viral, bro. Yeah, she, she was, oh, she was, she was trending last night, bro. Like I just, I don't even be looking at trends like that. But I was like, oh, Suki number fourteen. What? Mm-hmm. Off of just mm-hmm. that. Off of just like you know, I mean, people just stepped on that shit. Yeah, and um, like, no, not your to... face on like her makeup probably was st- like dog. I mean, no, they not even fuck the face, you know, just to, you know, as the feminist I am, just to have, you know, the, the coochie on the carpet, man. That's not like, sanitary. Who is bowing down to? That could, that could fuck up the pH balance, man. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, so, I, hey, I'm, I'm If I was I'm behind her, I would have died. I would have, they would have got me on camera being like, the fuck? Like, nah. Oh, know. that's what happened to uh, Saweetie. They, they panned to Saweetie and she was looking like, or what the fuck? Nah, I'm sorry. Oh no, no, that was for the niggas that like did the whole like standing uh table shit. There was, there was, oh my god, I'd have been. I'm let's. I'd have been a photographer bricked up in that joint. <laughs> that joint was stupid, fat. I ain't gonna hold you. That joint it was rocking. Um, I mean, we want to get into the performance. Um, you know, uh, Nikki rocked the show. It was a lot of aggression in that tone. Um, yeah. was there was she addressing the ops per said ops in that building? Yeah, she was addressing chance? the ops that had already left. Apparently, oh shit! All right, yeah, <laughs> I didn't yeah. know either. Miley, I was good? watching. Miley, what's good? Y'all remember that shit, bro? Way back in oh, the day, yeah, when she bro. Check my yeah. Miley, what's good? Miley Cyrus. I thought that was the most off thing. Like, fan. you don't need you don't need to do that to Miley Cyrus, dog. Already beat through right. a shoe with her motherfucking ass. She wasn't playing. Like no, like um, who was it? Yeah, Megan Cardi performed earlier, and then then Nicki performed. But the thing about the performances, bro, like it was so weird to compare the fucking VMAs, the goddamn the BET Awards, and I'm like, the BET Awards have their fucking acoustics right, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like when you're watching the goddamn MTV music, the VMA Awards are embarrassing. For a lot of these motherfuckers, bro. Because you don't know how to do the whole lip sync thing while your ears all fucked up. I don't know if you saw, like, oh. A Boogie trying to rap and do this with Metro Boomin and all them. That nigga mm-hmm. ain't never been on the stage like that. He was struggling trying to lip sync and say actual words and shit. So I don't oh, like shit. none of that. Like, like I said, I don't think the sound sounded great. So, like, none of the performance was, like, truly hidden. I was kind of hmm. just seeing, like, overall just how he performed well. Like, Diddy. Diddy was, Diddy was good. You know who was the best performer though that I saw last night? Hmm. Motherfucking L Cool J. That nigga hey. rocked up, right. bro. Rock what did he do? <laughs> he did his one song, <laughs> but he killed All his right. one song. <laughs> don't don't do that because he's had a few. Stop I'm gonna it. knock you. <laughs> hey, nah, it's crazy. No, he has so on. many other hits, but I mean, I'm not. I, I'm gonna knock you out. Does get you hype, son? I no, nigga, if you don't, pause. If you don't give me this is for my number one, doom, doom, doom. Nigga, if you don't give me that or give me, um, I mean, with 50 years away, girl, you gotta do that, son. You know, around what I'm saying? Away, girl, nigga, that's a staple, too. You can't give me that, pause. I would love to hear Rock the Bells, bro. Rock the Bells by LL Cool J. A lot of be crazy. <laughs> now, uh, what did Diddy do? What did he perform? Diddy had a, um, you know, they like do that one little we're gonna sh- highlight he brought out king combs here. man yeah he, he did like you know that oh, one shit. award they give to like uh <laughs> you're you're that nigga award that one person gets yeah. a year for being mm-hmm. a guy for like 20 years they gave it to him and then he had a performance for us because he has an album dropping this week so and like spice said he brought out his son he did all, all these old fucking bad boys hits and shit that he had rights to still you know, give a break. Yo, all right. Don't <laughs> like, be easy. Be easy. Like, no, 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 no. You can't get that one, bro. You can't. Oh, no, wait. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some shits like trading cards. <laughs> right. Yo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You can't get that. <laughs> well, I said all of them, but that one. So yeah, he, he gave was, back some publishing. Okay, <laughs> yeah. to, to salute Diddy, he gave out. So he gave back some publishing, and you know, he he could have took the eight figure deal. He said, nah. 
Get back to the squad. So stop it. Stop yeah, after it, guys. I, after I made hundreds of millions of dollars off. Right, yeah, yeah. Billions do you need? Nigga? <laughs> Damn. He's like, I'm a billionaire now. You know, I got two. Right. Billion, all right. You, you got good. Two now. <laughs> I can have it. <laughs> and it goes what everybody yeah. says the whole week. Hey, y'all ain't ever heard of nobody giving rights back. So what y'all complaining about? He's like, Oh Lord. Well, I guess you're right. Like, I mean, he's the right. Man. Oh, man. But still, like, hey, yo, talking about speaking black- of Diddy, son. He might have did that son to get the heat off him because I heard some wild ish about him and Jamie Foxx, bro, throwing some some basketball parties back in the day, some butt naked basketball parties, bro. I'm down. Um, so instead like, of shirt, like so five instead on of, five, no, nigga, five on five. But so instead of shirts, basketball. so instead of shirts and skins, it's tops and bottoms. Skins. Is that what you're telling me? Skins, buddy. Skins. Right. I'm not gonna let you do that to the Fox man or or Diddy. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm not gonna let you do that. Where where are you it's citing so these sources, <laughs> bro? Fucking niggas, Jamie niggas Fox news. said that shit on the how on the date. Those are the name no, Howard, Howard Stern. News. <laughs> Howard Stern, bro. He was like, yeah, it was real early in my career. I was like, hey, yo, <laughs> yeah, early in my career. That's a early. We know it. Hey, one day the doc the documentary is gonna come out about somebody. But, hey, about, hey, about hey, what hey, happens hey. early <laughs> in your career. Hey. We're not gonna do never this. Never dribble a basketball ass naked, nigga. Think about it. Like I had a basketball hoop in my backyard. No, and I've never done it. <laughs> never I crossed never my mind. <laughs> Who thinks this shit like this? Can I keep my chain on? <laughs> no, no. no. butt ass in some J's playing five on five. It's crazy as hell. Hey, no I'm way, sorry. bro. Hey, no, no post, post work is nuts, man. Getting, all right, yo. See, so that's literally there. all I could think about. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, hey, this was somebody's yo. idea for a reason. Yo, no, holy shit, that I is back, crazy. Back oh my bro. god, y'all niggas, that was hilarious. <laughs> I, I saw somebody say that. Um, I, I didn't even see somebody. I said this. Fuck that. I said this. But I ain't oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, like, shit. I was in there like, yo, why is Diddy's son, like, cosplaying as Diddy? Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> All right. Yo, so that's it for the pop. I want to be, like, be, be my dad so yo, bad. Bro. Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for listening. Uh, we've been uh, great. I ain't got no <laughs> songs of my own to come out to. <laughs> But he's the King Combs, bro. You know what I'm saying? King Combs. King Combs. <laughs> King of what? Bro, man? I love his confidence on stage. Where he's like, "You already know what the fuck it is." Ah, nah, nah, nah. Like, I'm, I'm that nigga. I'm like, son. He do got one song with Chris Brown. I can't front. That he shit got, is that shit he, is tough. He got one song with Kodak Black. The Kodak Black part is good. <laughs> the dead ass, bro. He do look like a, a nepotized ass, like. He did. He like cloned AI, bro. I was sitting there like, yo, you know what these niggas remind me of? Play museums, the the wax museums, them niggas be having, bro. Like that's just. Bro, I was like, they they remind me of Deion Sanders and Shadur Sanders. Well, I was looking. All right, yo. So thank you for listening to this audio adventure. (laughs) Oh shit, (laughs) yo, we're not about to sit here and do this today. Stop it. You just said that nigga got the award. Stop it. Stop it. Um, but you brought it up. Shout out to Dion, man. Um, Colorado. Uh, they beat um, T. Was it TCU? TCU. And then they beat mm-hmm. um, Nebraska. Yeah. So they're hey, on the two zero one Alabama streak. Alabama boys right, we out there telling them boys to uh, go back to the projects. Yeah, f word. Huh? That's why I ain't even look at them videos, bro. I'm That's sorry. Little- excuse me. Sickening. <laughs> what, it what was we like say? Texas boys crazy on the sidelines. They can say, um, we all you know, that's the worst the part program. of our fan base. We all have them in our fan base. <laughs> we, right. we don't like those aren't true. We all have racists. <laughs> There's racist commanders fans, you know. Oh, like, 100%. Like racist. <laughs> you know, 90% of them are black. A couple of them in actually, there. ooh, we could actually get a quick sports segment off real quick. How you guys feel about your teams this year? How you guys looking? First game, you know, we, we briefly got into it a little bit, but how, how, what's the prediction? Just want to talk about the Cowboys. That's all. I, I do, I do, I, like, I, what I the do, fuck? I do. It's First and foremost, oh, fuck the under the bridge or under the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Football <laughs> take about your team. <laughs> First of all, 
I need props from niggas because, dog, a 40 burger on the first game, bro. Like, come on, stop it. But it's like, and, were first game, though. That's the thing. It's yo, first game. Why Why can't niggas just be like, yo, salute? Because that's the thing. Yo, yo, first game of the shit. Yo, it's the Giants. Yo, fam, we held them niggas to nothing. Bagel. Like, let's, 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 let's talk about that for four fucking quarters, nigga. And we just kept running up on their ass. Like, come on. Like, please, can I just get some props? Like, yo, y'all did y'all thing. Please. I definitely did your thing. I mean, niggas literally have their like, Super Bowl contenders, like, for the last four years. Like, uh, Sir Commander? Come on. Hey, nigga. I, well, you want, I just said what I want, nigga. Give me a, give us our dues, nigga. You ain't give me all shit. Fuck y'all niggas. All right, see? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> November 23rd. Hey, November 23rd, baby. I got you. I got you. I remember that shit. I got that shit. I remember that. November 23rd. Um uh, uh who the Saints play recently? Um what? Last week we played who? um Falcons? the Titans. No, nah, it wasn't the fucking. Oh Titans. yeah, the Titans. You guys hey, win that one? Yeah. Hill was giving it up, bro. Or who not? Who's the who's the Yeah, he was giving it up. Was giving it up, up, giving that shit up bro. He was giving it up. That's good defense though, you know. For oh, what he throwing them. ducks out there. So I mean, just passes to the other it's team. It's crazy bro. when I was looking at it, it was like I thought it were ducks, but then I looked like when they were doing the replays, I'm like, oh, no, we just killing these niggas. It is perfect hmm. defense. I mean, what are you going to say, though? You know, first game, first game. Boy, Derek Carr looking pretty good. You know what I'm saying? DC, DC4, you know? Derek they do have, all right, don't, ew, don't do that. DC4, relax, relax. Hey. They do ew. have an audio mic. To, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, he hey, was nasty boy for that. going viral. He, <laughs> he never go viral right. for the Raiders, yeah. right? It's a fact. I'll give you that. They do have him audio mic'd up talking about, hey, man, we're going to go for it on that drive. And he did. So, salute. Salute. Freaking salute. run. Yeah, I love salute. it, bro. You know? Love Ew, you watched it my, several times. I love, I love my <laughs> Christian boys on the Saints, you know? We got a bunch oh. of those. So. Oh, Just man. Squad. Panic for uh, the Chiefs? Did y'all watch that Chiefs game, bro? How many times that dude dropped the ball? Like how many yeah, drop yeah, passes yeah, in Tony, that shit, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, Look, dog. that that got me thinking that a script shit might be real. I'm not even gonna hold you. That shit really made me think. What is this? Like, man, I wish we could play that little sound and when hijinks when niggas be slipping and falling, bro. Like that dog. Whoop, 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 you wearing gloves? Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's just like. Okay. I ain't nothing worse than dropping a pass, bro. I just remember playing open pickup. pass, mind you. Playing pickup and niggas looking at you like, nigga, what is wrong with you? Like, and then you like see a Tyreek Hill, Hill highlights of like, 200 yards. Yeah, <laughs> 200 <laughs> yards. Torching niggas. Torching like, niggas. And he's only like 5'8, five, 5'9 five, out there five, torching. Eight. Like, mm-hmm. the cheetah, <laughs> salute. Madden will not give him his 99, but I bet you they will at the end of this year. Um, you want to get your commander love off real quick before we get the uh under the bridge real quick? No, nah, I got it with my intro. I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, that's all you'll get the rest of the year. Um, all right, so under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> um, my under the bridge. Um, added off the dome. Uh, Nissan's not here, so I get to you know brag, be a little bit braggadocious with mine. Archer, 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 Archer is back. It's been back for Dude, roughly about sh- oh. Uh, no, no, no. Hell, I don't know why I was hey, yo, the what's up with you, nigga? Don't disrespect <laughs> me. <laughs> My bad. Um, nah, Archer's back. Uh, season finale. Um, I believe it's four episodes now. Now, like I said, um, it's really good, really somber. Um, I'm taking each episode, you know, step by step. Just you know, they they don't do you know with the ads. They 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 do the most to remind you, yo, yeah, it's season finale. Like, yo, hey, like, come on out, like. So it, it's uh, I'm, I'm I'm watching through the pain, but it's still good. Um, salutes um, H. John Benjamin. I will always salute that guy. Like I said, phenomenal actor, voice actor. Uh, Bob's Belcher, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm under the <laughs> Bob's bridge. Belcher. Yeah, Bob's Belcher. Bob's <laughs> Belcher. Um, my under the bridge will be for Taylor Swift for dropping one of the my favorite songs this year, "Anti Hero." And the fucking awards that she racked up at the VMAs. I'm just going to name a few. Video of the year, artist of the year, song of the year. You know what I'm saying? Fucking best pop. Uh, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the list goes on and on, man. I don't, I don't need to keep going on. Best direction, best cinematography, best visual Damn. effects. 
Um, I think there might be and show of the summer, which she has as well, which I thought was really cool that Taylor Swift did. I think she gave like each of the drivers like twenty thousand dollars, um, for bringing like her equipment that she needed that was initially like malfunctioned or something like that. So she gave each of the drivers like a twenty thousand dollar check. Um, shout out to Taylor Swift, man. It was a beast ass song. I need to actually listen to the album, but that's my under the bridge. Yes, sir. Salute. Salute, salute. Um, my under the bridge is going to be a manga. Bro, you need to Ooh. check this out. Okay. Uh, Talk to me. So, if you don't know the Shonen Jump app is a fire ass app. You should definitely get it. Um Hey, who put you on with that? Was it you? It might have been you. Nah, Reddit yo, put me on. Uh, yo, shit. Reddit put me on a long time. I'm gonna say Nigga, you. I'm gonna I give swear you, to God. I'm yo, gonna I give you a props. But I'm it was a while. we've been we've been using this shit for a while now. It's just I only a dollar, two dollars a month. Um catalog is absolutely insane. But they they typically drop a a one shot, which is essentially like a sixty page sixty pages of like one mog of a story or whatever. Like just to get you like, you know interested or maybe like into the story or whatever but they dropped a new one normally i don't fuck with them normally them bitches get canceled i know merle be saying them shits you get the one chapter two chapters three chapters it's gone you don't ever hear about it again Mm -hmm. but i saw this new one's called mama yu yu surprisingly pretty damn good it's pretty damn good it's about like a guy that's considered a hero in a world that's um where essentially, you know, that there's no need for heroes, and he's trying to figure out what exactly that means, what his purpose is in life is, and um, yeah, really good. Hmm. Hopefully, there's more chapters, but we'll see. I'm gonna check it out, Mama Yu Yu. Definitely gonna check it out. Um, uh, well, since we're on the pilot together, uh, talking about shit, check. Um, uh, did you get the update? Yu Yu Hockey shows on uh, Shonen yeah, Jump too? Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, hmm, should I read this again? I literally was about to skim through it right now. Um, but I know what to do after this pod. Uh, nah, but um, great pod, guys. Um, good shit. Like, good, good spirit. Like I said, this y'all had me dying. This was hilarious. Um, for the fans and the viewers out there, hey, please, if you like this audio adventure with us, please comment, subscribe. Um, you can find us on many social platforms itself. Uh, definitely Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, MySpace, uh, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, uh, yeah, no, we're on MySpace. Look for it. It's on our plan. Pinterest. <laughs> Spotify. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grinder. Uh, <laughs> Tender. Uh, nah. Uh, nah, man. We're all over the place. Um, please just definitely check us out. Comment. Um, let us know. Uh, DM us. We'll shoot some feedback. Um, also, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Please wake up early in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And just enjoy a little bit of anime with the boys, man, on AM anime. You know, sit back, enjoy, get some good dialogue, you know, witty banner here and there. Please, come on, enjoy. Uh, follow us on the Discord, by the way. Um, no, nah, um, we smoked that. I think that's it. Step away from this, guys. Peace. Peace. Later.